Michael Null is a computer engineer who likes to visit the New York City ballet whenever he gets the opportunity. One evening he was watching a ballet which is widely regarded as a turning point in modern dance. Stravinsky's Apollo. As he watched, Mike Knoll conceived the idea of creating a ballet with a computer, and this was the picture in his mind. As a computer expert, he was well able to translate his ideas into a computer program. Of course, though, the really essential part of this is the computer program, which enables the individual to communicate his intentions to the computer. For instance, in the computer program to make the computer ballet, which I have here, the first part of it is concerned with setting up the instructions for drawing the stage on the automatic device that produces the pictures. The stage is shown here as consisting of 600 units on each size. So we have here it's a list of instructions which produce a stage, which is then still in the movie for 24 frames, which corresponds approximately to about one second. After that one second of the silent stage, the individual chorus consisting of what I consider to be the boy dancers and the girl dancers then come on. So we see here a main subroutine, which is a little separate program that the big program transfers off to. And this little program is responsible for drawing the individual stick figures. These stick figures are made up of little line segments, which are drawn on the automatic device that produces the film as straight line segments, starting down here at this point one, continuing up to point two, thereby drawing one arm, continuing across with one half of the shoulder, up to produce the head, down to produce the rest of the body, back up again, across to complete the shoulder, and then off to finish with the final other arm. The completed program is transferred onto magnetic tape, and the tape in turn transmits the program to an automatic device which produces the images. These are displayed on a cathode ray tube. Just as in conventional animation, the computer film is made up of single pictures, each very slightly different. Projected at normal speed, they'll give an impression of movement. Once he's checked that the pictures are all right, the tube can be put back into the apparatus, ready for filming to begin. Facing the tube is an ordinary film camera, which photographs the images one by one as they appear. Also built into the apparatus, a developing tank, so that the film can be processed immediately after it's been taken. Finally, test pictures of single frames of film negative are displayed on this unit to check the picture quality. And so we present the first part of the world's first computer ballet. Already a number of artists are learning from computer experts to master the techniques which resulted in this film. Because they believe computers provide the most exciting possibilities at present available for experimenting with film. And now the results of these early experiments are coming in. Here's a trial run for a film title produced by a computer. This piece of computer animation, originally designed for a color film, is too complex to have been made using conventional techniques. Engineers, too, are producing strange and sometimes beautiful shapes in their computer films, like these two bodies revolving in space. This computer animation shows two bodies in an imaginary world which has entirely different laws of gravity from our own. In this film, two celestial bodies approach one another and eventually collide. An artificial satellite orbits the Earth. The satellite has been drawn as a box to show its tumbling motion more clearly. A weather map of the Earth looking down on the North Pole, but drawn by a computer. Each day's weather is compressed into seconds. 
This view shows the flow of water released from under the sluice gates of a dam. In this pilot's eye view, you can simulate all sorts of landings on an aircraft carrier. Finally, the stress on a square piece of metal is created in a computer film. Films like this, of course, are only pioneer work in a new medium. A medium where scientists and artists are going to have a lot to offer one another.